Welcome back. So February is Heart Month to raise awareness about the number one killer of men and women in the U.S. heart disease. Dr. Tracy Stevens of St. Luke's Mariel I. Kaufman Women's Heart Center is here to explain how this is preventable. So welcome, Thank first you. off. But what are some steps that women could do to really learn about heart disease and what we're trying to raise awareness about this month? I think it's very important for women to recognize that heart attack and stroke, heart disease is our number one health threat and that actually mm -hmm. it kills more women than all forms of cancer combined. And the key is the best way to treat heart disease is to prevent it. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, we, we thought that by 2022, heart attack and stroke would be second to the leading cause of death in our country, second to cancer. But we realize we're not gonna meet that statistic. And yeah. mostly it's because the we have not made great strides in preventing because of the obesity epidemic, especially women 40 to 60 years of age. So I think it's important for women to know this is our number one health threat, mm -hmm. and it's our responsibility as individuals to take ownership of it. Because if we take some great strategies, we can reduce our risk to less than 1%. Okay, well, I really like what you're saying, first of all, because this is something that's so dominant and it's affecting so many women's health. And you're saying that if we take the right steps, we can really lower that. So. When we talk about this, right, you think of a heart attack, but what are some other things that deal with heart disease that maybe would let us know, hey, I need to start taking control of my health right now? There, it's very important to know that it's not just about a good old America heart attack with the plaque formation, plaque rupture. Mm. There are some very unique conditions that are far more prevalent in women than men that can cause heart attack. The most common cause of a heart attack in women under the age of 50 is SCAD, spontaneous coronary artery dissection, where there's a spontaneous tear in the lining of the coronary artery. Often young, healthy women without any risk factors maybe just had a baby. Broken heart syndrome. Syndrome. Uh, other causes of heart attack when it's not obstruction of those coronary arteries. So it's important to know that there are other unique conditions. A, a epidemic rhythm in our country now more prevalent in women, atrial fibrillation, congestive heart failure. It's important to know there's other conditions that can be associated with women's heart health. If they've had a history of cancer, radiation, mm -hmm. chemotherapy, while successful for treating the disease, sometimes can have an impact on their heart health. So it's so important to know other conditions associated with their heart health. Okay, so we we definitely need to be on the lookout for that mm -hmm. and there are also steps that we can take to reduce our risk so I think we've got six lined up six queued up where would, where do we start I think start with some baby steps and I think one mm -hmm. of the most important things is to take ownership of your blood pressure we each should self-monitor our blood pressure and know that it's under good control it's the silent killer so you don't know what it is unless you check it and how often should we be checking that? If somebody wants to be consistent about this, do you recommend it once a week? I would say start just once a month. Okay. Check your blood pressure. If we set a ballpark figure, if it's 140 or the bottom number 90 or greater, check it more frequently, keep a diary, and then share it with your health care provider. And it's, it's now second only to nicotine as the most preventable cause of heart oh, wow. attack and stroke. And then it's lifestyle. These Things yeah. that require discipline. It's eat healthy, stay active, ideal body weight, don't smoke, limit alcohol, and avoid prolonged sitting. Sitting's a new smoking. Okay, so we gotta stay active. Um, is there anything else where or maybe how women should seek treatment along with taking those preventative steps, but anything on the treatment side? I think know your body, know mm -hmm. your symptoms, anything from the waist on up whether it's chest pain, shortness of breath, indigestion, pain between the shoulder blades, even a toothache, anything you can't explain, especially with exertion that's Pay limiting attention. you, and fatigue. Pay attention to your symptoms, mm -hmm. seek help. Okay, well, Dr. Tracy, thank you so much for all of those tips and for more information about your heart, your heart health, or anything else, just visit stlukeskc.org.